Hey guys, this is a special day. Many of you may not know it, but supposedly this is a day of jubilee. This is a day where everything comes true. Actually, debt, things like that are supposed to be canceled in the old days. And there was a, a belief system that every so often things would just shut down. And by shut down, I mean the currency collapse, the governments, things like that. Called depressions. So I'm going to have a little talk here. Got my little Superman outfit on. Got my super juice. I'm going to do this live. Why? Because we've been getting a lot of turnout, actually. I don't think Facebook's very happy about it, but most people watch for a few minutes and go, and maybe come back later and watch it again. Why would they do that? Because there's more than what you might think hidden in cartoons. Hidden in a story. And that's kind of what this is about. About a story. Once upon a time, I wrote a little story. Many, many years ago. I was 25 years old. I didn't know what it was about. Didn't know what the whole thing was about. Didn't understand the world. Imagine that, 25 years old. Don't understand the world. Now I'm 67. I understand the world a lot better. So there are a few things going on today, the end of this month, that are extremely critical for those who aren't listening. Pay attention. I see I got a couple of viewers. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're going into a period, possible wars. This is war between countries. This is war between nations. This is war between so many people. It's called world war possible. Now, when I was a kid, 17 years old, 15 years old, this was always being told might happen. Back then we had Superman, we had comic books, didn't have internet. And there was a young man, he was given a job. And the job was really not that hard. It was to go out maybe one day and to tell the world, we can do better than my parents did. And my dad went to Vietnam. I was part of that Vietnam era, a Vietnam veteran, era when you had all this fear and ultimately a war that was started by a black flag operation. So when you get into these situations where we're looking at war again, you have to look at the words that we're hearing. You have to understand what they mean. All the words. Now sometimes we can't express what we need to express with the words that are available. And thanks to Orwell and the government's ability to change words like recession, depression, a lot of things have changed. Now, I don't expect a lot of people to stay on here very long. That's okay. It's not meant for everybody. It's just meant for a few people. What do you want to be a part of? Well, for some people, that's hard to figure out. What do you want to be a part of? Something incredible? Something horrific? You just want to stay on the sidelines? Perhaps, for a lot of people, that's what they're after. So, this can be a little story real quick about what's going on. In case you haven't paid attention, there's some serious earthquakes. You don't need me for that. There are other people who can tell you this. I just want to let you know that's what's going on. There's also a few other things going on. Fires, in case you haven't paid attention. Volcanoes, in case you haven't paid attention. Storms, in case you haven't paid attention. I mentioned these at the beginning of the year in January. I said, watch out. That's what's coming. And I see a lot of people coming on. I see a lot of people going off. And, and I know with, with the way Facebook has done me so far, I can't tell if you're on here or not. So I'm not going to say hi or anything. But I thank you for showing up. What we're going to talk about real quick is if you haven't been paying attention, the Schumann, it's acting up again. And for those of you who are sensitive to the energies of the environment, this is something to pay attention to. There's also a few other things going on. Um, amongst them, there's, uh, uh, in case you haven't followed it, a couple hurricanes. Yeah. You might go to Oppenheimer Ranch report and hear. He's got a lot to say about that. Uh, I always listen to POW, Ponder on Weather. Another good alert. Alert is somebody who's alerting everybody. We need more alerts. We really do. We need more people to tell their friends about what's going on. In case you haven't noticed, the stock market's doing a nosedive. Now, if you're like me, eh, I ain't got any stock. I don't worry about it. But I do understand what it means for the rest of the world. For those people who are depending on their, their retirement, 
um, in their 401ks, God, you guys took a hit this week. If you didn't pay attention to me over the last 15 years and get downsized, if you didn't pay attention to me and, and do those things that I suggested, which included, but not limited to, um, getting some supplies, preparing a little bit, having some food on hand, having all those things that we were told we shouldn't be doing, like building up your natural immunity. Natural immunity. You know, one of the things about Superman is he didn't take no jabs. He didn't need them. He couldn't get through his skin. His skin was too hard for needles. So, do you know Superman never got vaccinated? Crazy. Just Superman. I, I checked on some other superheroes, and I, you know what? None of the superheroes ever got vaccinated. Can you believe that? And they're still superheroes. Well, the point of this is, you can be a superhero. You can be an example. You can age well, okay? In our late 60s, where I'm at now, I'm reaching 67. These are critical years. Our best years are 66 to 78. If you don't know that, if you aren't aware of that, you need to get to be aware of that. Now, I'm going to switch over here to the other side so you can see the camera and go up here on the screen. In the screen, I'm going to put this up a second. We'll listen to a little, perhaps a song. Um, do you want to be a part of something is kind of the question in life nowadays. And... That's kind of what I want to have in the background here going on. But I was flipping through some of my old um, cartoons because some of these, for example, I'm going to put up there, and one of them, this one is that, a, a, a card you can send out to your friends. It's a do not squeeze, fragile, whippable cage. Now, whippable is something you create with a thought. A thought is a whip. It's power of the mind embodied. And if you do that, you can then go ahead and be able to um, create things. Creativity is the greatest thing in the world. Um, our ability to do things, to create things, is so important. Now, some of the things I've got in here for people to be able to go ahead and play with, um, this is one of the cards. It's a greeting card. Oops, I don't know how well you can see this. It looks like it's not going to let you see it real well from my view. Um, I hope that's better. Let me see. Maybe this will make a difference. Um, these are cartoons I did many, many, many years ago. Many years ago. As in, I was 25 years old. So some of these may look a little bit poorly done, I must admit. But if you, um, if you were to look at the time I was doing that, I was 25 years old. And I was trying to go to school. And the goal behind what I was doing in school was becoming an English American Literature. Why? I want to be a part of a story. And I understood in those days that literature, writers, would be the ones that basically carry the message back. Carry the message back about what happened. Okay, we are part of the play. We're all part of what's going on. And so, the idea behind it, this is a little cartoon of where Rubbles is going to visit another one of the earthworms. And Wyatt Worm gets all upset, jealous. You know, jealousy is a terrible thing. But the idea behind a lot of these cartoons was to, to let you know that Rubbles, he's an earthworm, an avatar. And he's come to Earth to bring Wub, which is a story about the energy of soul and spirit, God thought, source thought. And Wibbledy is a short language, a zipped up language. And that language inside of it hides, yes, hides, um, a whole zip file of information about how we can treat people better. Um, some of these were just cartoons that were drawn to show how he gets to Earth and then he's able to go ahead and make friends with Wibwog. Wibwog, when I was 25 years old, was a character that might have been, oh, UFO or something like that. So you can send one of these cards out to somebody and I want to go ahead and put it online where you can actually go to the interior pages Here's Wibog, and he's introducing Rubbles to the other worms. That's Wilma Earthworm, and, and Wyatt, and... See, these are, again, just cartoons. Why? Because for children, understanding earthworms are critical, not to be gotten rid of. And so he's come a long ways, all the way across the universe, to bring this message. He's tired, had to take a nap. But, when it gets right down to it, if you want to start talking about how we're going to change the world, 
We're going to have to change it one person at a time. So these are the tales of Rubbles, the wise worm who is a wibble. He's an avatar. His thought manifested in a cartoon. And so here he's visiting and talking with another earthworm down at Earthworm Hole and sharing, touching. See, if you communicate through touch, that's called wobbling. Also, by the way, in case you didn't know, earthworms are really not supposed to swim. Um, hmm, he was swimming that day. But don't worry, the sun will dry him out. So Wibwog kind of shows up as a sort of a flying saucer. And that kind of represents the idea that there's other beings other than humans. And so Rubbles, see, look at that, a spinning web. What's a web? A web is a manifestation, a thought that manifests into a reality. So Wibblery is about all these thoughts that we use through our energy soul to communicate. Now, here's one of the other cards. These are greeting cards. You put it on the front of it and send your poetry inside. This is Rubbles as he's traveling and it's showing him arriving and that's the front of a little card. Of course, cards are for the Wub is for all occasions. Here's where he's out there bouncing around with his friends and talking and they're all meeting. Oops, took the wrong direction. So, Rubbles is working his way through the world. He needs cleaning glasses. And here's an idea. What is this? This is community. It's all of us working together to go ahead and be able to get something down. In this case, fruits. The fruits that we can harvest together. That's what this is about. Here's another one of our cards. And this is Rubbles as he's coming. Is a, is a birthday gift. He's being sent, Wub, to bring the party into order. This is a card. I'll print this up there. You can actually print this out and fill in the blanks. And you can see over here is Rubbles, and he's inside of there waiting to go and visit people. He can be sent anywhere in the world, anywhere in the universe. So that's going to be published soon. You can go ahead and just copy it down and fill in the blanks and have some fun with it. This is the bigger version of it when you spell it out. There you go. It shows how you fold it up. Those are the folds. And the other side of it, of course, is... How do I get down again? Um, that you can actually have the inside of it. Mm, and be able to go ahead and... Uh, oh, there it is. Oh. Um, fold it up. Make it yourself. And if you do that, then you'll be able to go ahead and uh, mess around with... Mail them out to somebody or hand them out in school. I'm a big believer in handing stuff out in school. Nothing like a little note. There you go. That would be the back side. So you can see how it has a little place for you to fill in your heart. A little wibble. This is a wibble. A wibble is a manifestation of your imagination. A wib, a thought, manifests and becomes something. This is called a wibble. And wobblers are people that touch, that hug, that kiss, that say hello through communicating through touch. And so this is a way of sending wub, touch, through the mail as a thought that you created. And with your heart, with your energy of spirit, with your energy of soul. And send it to the mail and let somebody know you care about them. So these are just some of the old cartoons that I did years ago. And if you've been watching, you've been seeing I've been doing more cartooning recently. And part of that reason is because I really want to go ahead and get across to people that there's a lot of stuff going on. Like these earthquakes. This is some serious stuff. It's about to go ahead and come across our country. We haven't had any, and we're due. So, if you're not preparing, you should be. And what triggers these a lot of times is these storms. A storm like we have coming in right here, coming next, that's the kind of storm it takes to trigger major movements in the ground. Okay? And so, I want everybody to pay attention to that kind of stuff. It's important. It's important. And when you start tracking the Schumann resonance, you say, well, why would I want to track the Schumann resonance? Well, because when it starts getting really um, powerful and you start seeing it begin to go ahead and do that, well, for some people, that means life is going to get a little rough today. And it means by like irritable and, and, and stuff like that. Not everybody, but some people are just a little bit on the uh, edge already and they don't need much of a push to make it over. And that's what I want to warn you about. Now, one of the factors, this is not, uh, now, normally if this were all down low, that would be a problem. Right now, that's actually good. That means that people aren't quite as edgy as they would be. And now, if it gets up here into the high marks, where it goes all red, then you got to start worrying again. That will downright kill you. So, these are some things you would be looking at if you want to go out to the world and see what's going on. 
And if you want to see for solar flares, which is what we really need to be paying attention to right now, this is getting a lot of attention. This is a great site to look at, Mr. MBB333. And he can take you off on all these other locations. And at these locations, you can then see all these other stuff. Not M R M M. He's a great alert. He alerts everybody. He tells everybody every day, day after day. These are the guys that you want to go ahead and pay attention to because they're going to give you information. Information, knowledge is everything. Knowledge is everything. Now, one of the things you want to go to, if you haven't been there, go to my uh, Salvage Texas and Tiny Texas Houses pages. I highly recommend them. We also have an incredible page called Substack. And over on Substack, I want you to know there's lots of articles, lots of ways. If you want to support us in some way, shape, or form, go to this page. This page has many articles, and you can support us for $5 a month to be able to see all sorts of things, including cartoons, but also all sorts of stuff, including warehouses and how to build, and you got search panel there. You can actually do stuff. So please take and visit that. And as you do that, understand that it's there for your benefit. That's a search function. So I'll put that to the side right now. Otherwise, this is a great place to go. And if you open up some of the stuff that you'll see on here, original houses, pictures, galleries on how to do all this, how to go ahead and build a house, get the parts for it, all that's available. If you want to come stay at the Salvage Texas B&B, these are the houses you can stay in. So I do want to go ahead and invite everybody to go ahead and get more involved. And as things happen today, the stock market Monday is not going to look good. Your 401k is going to look like crap. You're going to be looking at the food costs going up. There's a lot of stuff that's going on. And trust me, I am not one who wants to go ahead and see you suffer. But a lot of people have chosen to wait. By wait, I mean wait to the last minute. Not prepare. Not get in good shape. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Now, can you still do it? Yes. Should you? Yes, absolutely. And what's that mean? That means getting out there, talking to people, find out who your friends are, find out who your neighbors are. And if you can, hey guys, nice of you to be able to show up. They probably didn't tell anybody I was even on. Um, but you can go back and watch this when it kicks back. I've tried to get everybody to be aware there's some super strong chances of really serious bad weather, the hurricanes obviously, but it's also hurricanes help trigger earthquakes. And in case you haven't been paying attention, big earthquakes have been going on. Go to all those alerts I told you about. Suspicious observers, Oppenheimer Ranch Report, um, POW weather, it's Ponder on Weather. These guys will tell you real straight and clear what's going on. And do me a favor, prepare. Get some water, get some food, get some batteries, get some good sense. If you're not aware of what's going on, hmm, Putin, yeah, the man over there in Russia, he's kind of got a plan, and he's not very happy, and the United States is sending more weapons over another thousand Abrams tanks. What on earth are we doing? We're sending all of our weapons over there to cause a war to be worse. We're about to see nukes used. They're called tactical nukes. It's not like the whole world would blow up over some tactical nukes, but it is going to be very bad for those who are in the path. Please. Pay attention. Pay attention. Don't go wandering off into your old day and think that nothing's going to happen. It's happening. The stock market is changing. The value of gold is changing. The value of silver is changing. The value of food is changing. The value of fuel in Europe, 10 times. So $50 a month is now $1,000 a month, 1,000 times. $1,000 to heat your house. And winter's coming. Businesses are shutting down. They're being forced to shut down. That brings a recession in Europe. Recession in Europe brings a recession in the United States and the rest of the world. This is global. If you're not paying attention, pay attention now. Do you understand? Please. I don't know how to say this any better because some people are just not going to wake up. Wake up. Go watch the alerts. Yeah, watch the others. I'm just here to tell you to go watch others. To pay attention. To downsize. To salvage. To be prepared to live on the land, to make communities, to raise children differently without the internet. If you haven't got that message yet, at least think about it. 
you might need a plan B just in case shit hits the fan. You know, like we've been talking about for years. Some of us believe it's possible. And we took some preparation. Not enough. But please be alert. Share. Let others know. Okay? I'm going to get going. I know a few of you made it through. I can see some of the symbols. I doubt many, but hey, Nancy, nice to see you got there. Yay! Yes, Nancy knows too. Pay attention, guys. I've tried to give you as much as I can. A way to mail, create houses, create communities. A way to go ahead and think ahead. Now, are you going to use it? So many are no. Of course not. But some of you are. And I've gotten great things back from those who are. And I want to go ahead and end this by saying, I'm doing this for those who are. I'm doing this for the kids. I'm doing this for the babies. I'm doing this for the ones that are going to make it through this nasty mess because they believe they're going to make it. And just in case there's no rapture where everybody disappears, and there's some of us left over, the elders, the, the wiser ones, the ones who know how to create things, to grow things, please, elders, now's the time to step up. Now's the time to be that person, that leader, that superhuman. It comes from here, guys, from the heart. It tells the brain what to do. The gut, your instincts, tells you to stay away from those liars and those cheats. Whether they're at a pulpit or whether they're selling you perpetual youth, like so many do on the internet. Please, pay attention. Things are changing. They're changing fast. You won't even know. But if you're paying attention, if you're preparing, hey, be ready to guide the others because they're lost. I appreciate y'all. And if you can't get over to Substack, I know it's a pain in the ass to sign up on the platform, but it does give us some support. Facebook. 15 years, I can't even show a, a like or a follower, so don't depend on them to get any messages to us. And if you can share this, please do, and like it. It pisses them off over there at Facebook. They didn't even tell me about it. We got 93,000 people looked at the last video. You couldn't tell, not by any statistic that they'll give me unless I go hunt for it. So, I'm making this one in hopes that more people listen. I don't make many now, but if you want to get a tiny house package, check with me. Go online. And if you want to go ahead and do something with the community, check with me. I want to go ahead and help some people out, but do it soon. I'm not going to stick around forever. Ciao.